Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a fantastic trading day today. Today should have been a very green day for you in that the market was way up and did very well today. And so I like to see that definitely. During this video, I'm going to cover trades that I made on Tuesday within the top seven list. And then also I'm gonna give you a new top seven that has some new picks for you to take advantage of for the market day on Wednesday. So if you are following this top seven list and you have an equal amount each and every one, then you would have had a 1.66% gain for Tuesday, which is pretty good. That beat the market. Personally, at a 4.73% gain, that's because I use different strategies. I not only have my top seven list that I use and my insider swing play, but that there are some options that I use and take advantage of every day. If you are following this top seven list closely, then month to date, you should be at a 10.25% gain. So pretty good so far. We're halfway through the month and I think that's pretty good. Year to date, I am at a 1,223% gain. It has been a fantastic year, the best I've ever had by far. And looking forward to 2021. So it should be kind of fun to reset the clock and have a year like this all over again. So day trading, the first one was OCX and AVXL. And I traded both of those in just pre-market for a 14.6% gain. They fit the strategy for pre-market day trading that I have. And so those picks were good. Okay. So within the top seven from yesterday's list, I sold MNKD. I sold it for a 9.23% gain. And then I sold KRMD for a 13.2% gain. So that one is losing momentum. So definitely felt the momentum stopping. It's kind of hit some key support levels. I don't think it's going to do well in the next couple of days unless there is some news to come out on it. Of course, news can change all of that. And we've had lots of insider activity. There could be some news behind it, but it looks like KRMD is losing steam. I like to use Weeble for my day trading and also as my regular broker. And the reason why I do is because it has fantastic scanners. If you're looking for a powerful broker, if you're with Robinhood or a lot of the other brokers that won't let you trade as early as 3 a.m. Central Time and as late as 7 p.m. Central Time, then I highly recommend you check them out. It might be worth a switch for you. If you are looking for a powerful broker, we have a link in the description down below. You get one free stock when you sign up and two free stocks when you deposit money right now. So it's definitely a very good deal. Check that out in the description down below. So I get lots of questions about OTCs and penny stocks and if I think they're a good idea. OTCs, just like any stock, could really run. So there are some of these OTC penny stocks that run massive amounts. And I love to follow those with insider activity, but the insider activity has to be significant. I would say over $50,000 of an insider buy on an OTC. But you can see a lot of momentum grow off of those and you can get some crazy gains like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 percent. And that's what's appealing on those. And I have had a few of those that I've done, even though it doesn't happen too often where you get insider activity. I've had a few of those just go crazy for me. They can be very good. It's good to not just kind of close your mind off to an investment like that. If you have an officer like a CEO or a CFO of one of those small companies that's putting their own money and reporting it to the SEC, that is a very bullish sign. And so that is something to watch for, even though it doesn't happen very often. You need a broker like Schwab or Fidelity. You can't trade OTCs with Weeble or Robinhood, unfortunately, at least not yet. All right, so we got a great list of top seven stocks. Let's get right to it because we've got quite a few to cover. So here we go. All right. The first one is AESE. This is Applied Esports. And on Tuesday, this finished up 8.61%. My average in it's $1.27 and it's calling this out in our Discord. It is up 29.92%. United Pastures bought $600,000 worth in open market. And tonight, AESE had more insider activity, causing it to spike even further. So analysts have an average target price on this stock at $3.75. I think at this insider activity continues, it could easily get there. So there is tons of upside in this stock. It is a very strong buy. I highly recommend it. I think it will be hot tomorrow. So on Wednesday, look for that one to really do well. The next is ARDX, Artelix. And on Tuesday, this finished up 1.89%, my average at $6.80. Since calling this out, it is up 5.59%. So it's doing pretty well. David Mott bought $1 million worth of shares in open market. It was a very bullish 
transaction that's been fueling this stock. And analysts have a very high analyst target on this. So the average analyst target is $13 a share. So it's a very strong buy. This is one I think that will continue upwards the rest of the week. The next and the last of the others is MTEN. This is molecular templates. And on Tuesday, this finished down 1.75%. My average, and it's $9.27. Since calling this out, it is up 12.51% in our Discord. So that's something to check out. But B Flat Biotech AG, 10% owner, has bought shares two days in a row. Analysts have an average target price on this of $20.15. It's also rated a very strong buy. And there's some other news with this one. The insider activity is always the news before the news and I'm expecting some good news on MTEM and so this could be a very strong catalyst this stock could really really fly so this is another really good one all right now for the top seven and number seven is LAZY on Tuesday this finished down 0.74 percent my average it's fifteen dollars and sixteen cents since calling this out in our discord it is down 2.37 percent this is lazy day holdings and Christopher Shackleton has bought shares at 13.99 and 14.55 three business days in a row of insider activity so that's one thing I look for I love to see is when an insider goes in day after day after day they might report one day down the road and actually have three transactions in one day but you will be able to see from the date you will on the uh, form fours by the SEC you will be able to see that each and every one was bought on a separate day and that is a very bullish sign analysts have an average target price on lazy at $22 a share so it's got some really nice upside that we could see on this and also the insider activity has definitely been strong so this is one that's got a history of big spikes and I'd love to see another one so we could see great things out of that going forward. Number six is COTY, Cody. And on Tuesday, this finished up 3.30% since calling this out, it is down 1.86%, but the stock is really improving. My average at $6.98 and Princess Anna Von Bayern bought shares three days in a row. Very bullish again when you see that analyst have an average target price of $10 a share. And if you saw yesterday's video, I'm looking forward to Cody to do great things coming the rest of the week. Number five is ATI. This is Allegheny Technology. And this one is relatively new to the list. On Tuesday, it finished up 4.29%. My average at $16.63. Since calling this out in our Discord, it is up 3.02%. Donald Newman, CFO, bought $210,000 worth of stock in open market. So that was a very bullish transaction. CFO is my favorite type of buy because no one knows a company more or the finances of a company or whether or not it's overvalued, undervalued, all of that, more than the CFO. So pay attention to those transactions more than any other and a stock tends to move the most on CFO purchases. So that's something to keep in mind. Number four is CAR. This is Avis and Budget. This is brand new to the list. And my average in it's $37.56. Since calling this out in our Discord, this one's brand new. I'm only up 0.27% in it, and I think this one will do really well. And Karthik Sarma has been buying more shares again, and so this is really something also with the news coming on and more people getting out there i think with a vaccine that we will see more people renting cars we will see more traveling we will see more of all of that happening analysts have an average target of 41 dollars 17 so there's still a nice upside from this and uh karthik uh sarma has a history of buying day after day after day after day so it was only two days worth and so i think this one could really continue especially if we have more insider activity coming I think it will do very well. All right, number three is AAOI. This is Applied Opto Electronics. This one is brand new to the list. My average is $8.09. Since calling this out in our Discord, it is up 3.96%. And Lin Chi Wei bought shares in open market, $7.82 a share. Analysts have an average target on the stock at $9.25. So there's some really nice upside still remaining on this. And I think this one will do really well this next week. This is a good one to get in because it has not risen that much and it was a very strong insider buy. All right, number two is Mustang Bio, M-B-I-O. And on Tuesday, this finished up 10.00%, so exactly 10% up. This one is brand new. My average in it's $2.89. And since calling this out in our Discord, it's up 2.77% still plenty of upside and i'm going to explain why really shortly lindsley 
Roggenweld MD bought $266,000 worth. So it's always good when a medical doctor buys shares in a biopharmaceutical company. That tends to mean that something is working or that something works or that they've done the work. Typically an insider like that will not put money down unless they know that something good has happened. There's, there's gotta be some unresolved news out there. This has now been reported and so we could have news at any time. And remember insider activity is the news before the news. And so I really like this transaction. This one really piqued my interest when I saw this come out early on Tuesday. And so this is very fresh. This one could have a really strong move. And I love to see when doctors buy shares. But check this out. Analysts have an average target price on this of $10.75. That is a 300% upside. So you have a very, very large upside with a medical doctor purchasing shares within the company. So those two things are very strong. And so I think that this one really builds up some steam. And man, when that insider activity happened, this thing started to fly and it came down a little bit. I was able to catch a dip and man, what a great stock it is. So I think that this one is going to be very, very powerful and Mustang Bio was already on my watch list. This is one that's had some interest in our group before. So now with the insider activity, it's really interesting. It'll be neat to see what happens. Number one is E-L-Y-S. Boy, we have had this in the past. I love this stock. And if you are part of our Patreon or our Discord group, you are absolutely loving it. Why? because on Tuesday it finished up 28.21%. This one's brand new to list. My average is $3.21. Since calling this out early this morning, it is up 21.18%. So that's the part of being part of that group is you don't wanna miss out on these for the small amount that it costs. You know, if you would've put $1,000 in this ELYS stock, man, you would have, you would've made $280. Well, that's, that's enough to pay for over 10 months of the service. and. That's just one day. And so picks like this is the reason why you need to be a part. But Michelle Civarelli, CEO, bought shares at $3.02. And then also a vice president bought shares. The vice president of technology bought shares at $3.15. Analysts have a price target on this of $5.36. We've already made 50% on this in November. So here we go, here's December. Why not make another 50%? Let's go for it. Anyway, I think that this one is going to do fantastic the rest of the week. They've had news. I know some people have st stressed some concern about them getting a gaming license, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. At least the insiders are putting their own money down on it. So I think they feel pretty confident. And so I feel confident also in riding the momentum of this stock. And I think it's going to do very well. I do lots of work for this list, so if you could please do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you're seeing me for the first time or you like what I have to say or you've seen me many times and just haven't subscribed before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when one of these videos comes out. We do one of these each and every business day. I know that uh, these picks are going to do well. I have full confidence in all of them. So I'm wishing all of you the best in your trading and Raytoven out.